What up everyone, Big Kev back in the building. Today we have another one from the artist Ren. This one's called Hi Ren. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's check it out. All right, this kind of has a little bit of the same vibe as uh, the last video of his that I did was uh, Money Game Part Three with the uh, masks and the and the wheelchair. Okay, he's a uh, he plays guitar also. He played, he played piano in the in the last video, so he's a uh, he's a man of many many talents it seems. Oh, it sounds like he's having a conversation with himself. All right, I like this. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Bren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? You've been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. I like how they use the flickering lights in the background, you know, when they're discussing a uh, mental illness. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10 step program, rejoice. All your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great. And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered for doing something special with myself. That's why I don't think that we should talk, man. Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one. Split in two, that makes one, so you see. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, your music is tried. I mean, he's definitely spitting some bars in here. Hey, delusional guy, where's your top 10 hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics, or stats. I never write hooks for the radio. They never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected, and the people who find it respect it. And for me, that's enough, because this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ran, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky having me inside you to guide you, remind you, to manage expectations, provide you perspective. That thing you neglected, I get it. You wanna be a big deal? Next Jimi Hendrix, forget it. Man, it's not like that. Man, it's just like that. I'm inside you, you twat. No, it's not, man. You're wrong. When I write, I belong. Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song. Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius. He wants to write a song that was not done previous. A battle with his subconscious. Eminem did it. Played on guitar. Plan B did it. Man, you're not original. You criminal rip off artist. The pinnacle of your success. Yeah, I love how he uh, mentions the people that uh, came before him. This, that, this dude definitely has a lot of skills. That's the ceiling of the people's material. Ran, mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Because I'm fine by myself. I'm a genius. And I will be great. And I will make waves. And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us. That's right. Speak your truth. Your fucking god complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing to ask for you. Say it instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process and if people can find something to relate to within that then that's just a bonus fuck you <laughs> that's pretty funny i'ma fucking kill you ren i'ma fucking kill me then let's fucking have you ren i'ma do it watch me prove it who are you to doubt my music because i call the shots i choose if you 
die. Yeah, I call the shots, and so I choose who survives. I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. <sighs> News flash. I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings, I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies, must off. Alright, this is going in an interesting new direction. Police truth in a blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender when standing in front of my solar eclipse. My name is stitched to your lips, so you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal. Feeble and normal, you wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of ends. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Just using the guitar as like the only backing track is, you know, a really uh, cool choice. And, you know, so far this is uh, incredibly, uh, you know, fresh and original. I really, uh, I'm really glad that I uh, decided to check this one out. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill. But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawned Just as sure as the rain falls soon runs dry When you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan That I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor. And I go by many names also. Some people know me as hope. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain and I didn't once flinch your shape. So cower at the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs. The hour we tire, I'll stand in your fire, inspire the me to be strong. I'm I mean, he's got a good singing voice also, besides, you know, just being able to uh, rap. When I am gone, I will rise in the music that I left behind. Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you, we're a to different sides. When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students it wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax, and I learned to soften, and that dance got easy. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. That's a really great metaphor, I, uh, I really like that. And I must not forget 
we must not forget that we are human beings. Yeah, that was incredible. I mean, the ending there was, you know, you know, super poignant and powerful. That metaphor about dealing with his mental illness was, you know, beautiful. I, you know, I, I thought that was really well put. And, uh, you know, the song itself was great. It was super catchy. You know, just having the guitar as his instrument, you never really, like, missed having, like, a beat. I mean, he just captivates you the whole time with his verses. And, I mean, yeah, I mean, I really just overall enjoyed the whole thing from the aesthetic to having the flickering light when his, uh, you know, darker side was rapping versus his normal side. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be checking out a lot more from Ren in the future. I, I'm glad that I got uh, recommended him in the first place because I'm really enjoying going down this rabbit hole for sure. If there's any other ones that I should be checking out next, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Until next time, have a good one.